Why do customers switch service providers? Research says three reasons. When customer expectations for quality and value go unmet, customers lack strong relationships with providers, and the cost of changing is low. Improving products and services leads to satisfaction, and studies show it's the prerequisite for customer loyalty. When levels of churn are high, competitive quality and value are often the first places to look. Startups define their value propositions in the early stages. They articulate their target customers, the benefits their solution offers, and the costs and other trade-offs customers weigh in their purchasing decisions. New companies generate early sales if they successfully choose, provide, and communicate a winning value proposition. But as the company grows, the value proposition often fades. Competitors imitate products and erode market advantages. New opportunities in emerging technologies cause distractions. And as the firm grows and becomes more complex, the company loses focus on what makes customers buy and continue to subscribe. Performance gaps may also appear. As companies scale, delivery often becomes erratic and service failures become more common. Customer satisfaction falls and churn rises. When processes don't work well, organizational stress grows and good employees leave. It's time to regain focus and improve quality. The first step is to revisit the chosen value proposition. Executives should determine if the company has acquired customers whose needs truly fit the offering or if the target segment has in fact changed over time. They should re-examine what's most important to their high priority customers and if product benefits are still relevant and compelling. If the value proposition strategy is right, the next step is to determine how the product is designed, delivered, and sold on a tactical level. The right promises must be made to the right customers. Leaders should check that their marketing messages target the right audience and clearly articulate the benefits. They should investigate how their salespeople qualify prospects and if sales incentives drive the right behaviors. Promises made must then be kept. Executives should make sure their value propositions actively drive product and service designs. All too often, product specs don't trace back to the benefits customers care most about. The same is true in operations. Processes and metrics typically address cost and efficiency gains, but overlook the factors that lead to competitive distinction. For example, a software company targeting alternative fund managers says it offers the easiest to use analytical tools and the fastest systems integration on the market. One might expect key factors corresponding to these benefits to be a very simple user interface, on-demand video training, and a robust library of APIs, to name a few. Key processes producing these factors might include new product introduction, onboarding, and others, and each process would feature appropriate measures along with executive owners responsible for them. When the value proposition can be traced directly to day-to-day -day activities, the company is more likely to deliver on the promises it makes. Sometimes inconsistent performance is the culprit. Customers are unhappy because things they expect aren't there, such as assurances made during the sales process that don't materialize, or things customers just take for granted and don't exist. Executives must implement process improvement methods to systematically uncover and resolve these types of problems. For example, a company makes a mobile app and discovers they have high churn. Measuring the problem further, roughly 40% of customer defections are estimators at small auto body shops. Analysis reveals missing data links with a common quoting software and inadequate assistance during the customer's first 60 days of subscription. In response, the company creates a new API, adds a customer success manager to help onboard, and revamps customer support to be more responsive during early integration. With the changes, the company achieves 82% lower churn, uncovers new market opportunities, and standardizes their improvement approach. Service Excellence Partners can help you refine and deploy your value propositions throughout your organization. We use an innovative system of metrics, product requirements analysis, and process design approaches to ensure that the promises you make are continually kept. We then use proven Lean Six Sigma methods to close performance gaps in development and operations. And we can help make continuous improvement an organizational habit. Service Excellence Partners can help you achieve excellence. We combine high technology, high service, and high performance like nobody else. We help cloud computing companies achieve world-class results. Contact us today to learn more.